been a long time since I've not had a bad back or a back ache. So far today, no back ache. Ah, oh, this feels like I'm walking on clouds or something. So my last video that I made, I, I, I can put the link down below. I've been having for the last couple, well, the last weekend, I had someone keep trying to break into my vehicle. And apparently I kept interfering with them because they never finished. So I said I'll park it on a different street the second time they tried it. And I parked it around the corner. And that morning when I did the video last, I checked it. I checked the locks. I checked it because I walked right by it when I left. And that was at 10.15. I came back at about 11.30 and the vehicle was gone. The guy came and took he had worked on it and figured it out and he took the thing. Well, they, I immediately called it in and filled out the police report and all the four-part harmony. And they found it just a few hours later, parked in someone's driveway. And they uh, had used it for uh, hauling tools and things because they left some of the tools and stuff in the vehicle. But this makes my fifth vehicle I've had stolen. Four in San Francisco and one in Corn Lake, Idaho. Now, I've had two of the stolen vehicles when they were returned. They all got returned right away. People throw garbage in the driver's seat. I don't, papers and bills and cans and just junk. They fill your damn car with junk. I said, well, they only had it for a few hours and it's already trashed. They hit the front left side front took out the lights then they backed up and smashed into something took out those lights i said god what assholes so it took all day yesterday pretty much to go down i had to walk to a police department because there's no cabs or anything uh which was miles and then i had to fill out or we we had to get the release for the vehicle then we had to walk several miles to where the impound lot is got there several about two hours later and um, then the real headache started. You had to push this button and a little ticket came out, but there was nobody else there. And then you had to wait for them to call the number. Well, the people are just sitting there. No one's calling any number. Then they finally call a number and I said, well, that was weird. And she said, just protocol, sir, just protocol. I have to follow protocol, you know? And then she said that I had to uh, get another form out in the driveway, out in the yard where the truck was another form for me to inspect the vehicle. So then we get to the gate, which is locked, and he says, no, you have to go get a release to come into the gate. So I had to go back, get a release, come back, get the get through the gate. Then I had to show him my driver's license, my truck ID, and all this stuff. Then we walk over to the truck and inspect it, and I told him where the damage was. And, and uh, he said, you can now get into the truck and try and start it. And so I got in the truck and in the key was this thing, this little square thing that was jammed into the, into the cylinder. And uh, I just turned it, started right up. They didn't wreck the motor or anything. So then he says, now you have to turn the vehicle off and we have to return to get a release. I said, another release? I was so pissed because this is just so stupid. I mean, fuck, I've showed them all my ID and everything. They know it's my vehicle. I've got the registration because I carry it with me. I don't leave it in the vehicle. And they still wanted me to go fill out more paperwork at the number lady. I had to go re-hit the button again, get another stupid ticket, wait around, and then get the release to release the truck from him or from somebody. So that gives me three damn releases and all these button pushes and bullshit. And we get in there and he wanted to see the whole thing idea. The same guy. And there's been nobody else, just me. And he wanted to see all my ID and stuff again. I said, did you forget last time? I was just here that I just showed you my ID and he said, protocol, protocol. Oh, I was, I just, steam was coming out. So we got the vehicle and I took it over to my mechanic who was fortunately open, but he said he only had one part-time mechanic because of the virus. They wouldn't allow any of the other mechanics in the place. So it would be weeks before I got my vehicle, even inspected to see what the cost would be. Oh, the inconvenient of these assholes that have to steal the vehicle. But you know something? That's right. I'm not here to talk about my vehicle. Let's go up this way and find a spot and we'll talk about something different. I can't remember the last time my back wasn't hurting. I could walk. I'm very uh, cautious of it though. Because I can tell if I make just one wrong move, because it just healed, that it will rip right back out. 
so but oh it's so nice I tell you <laughs> even with vehicle number five being stolen it uh, doesn't even bother me I'm almost getting used to it <laughs> they sure making it harder and harder to get it back from the impound yard so our first stop I think will be right here so we're seeing a lot of consequences of climate change and one of them is bacteria is now has now killed 60,000 trout in California the bacteria name is here it's a big long one but the scientists are trying to figure out what the pathogen is and it's acting a lot like COVID isn't that interesting though this pathogen seems to like warm water versus cold it does have an environmental factor and that's why it's really taking off but isn't that interesting we're seeing more and more diseases acting more like COVID as if it spread throughout the community you know throughout all of the uh, life on on planet earth and it, uh, it's really raising hell that's for sure if that's what that pathogen is they're still not sure they're also worried about fish to human transmission so that's the that's the bottom line of this video is is meat to human transmission of diseases and it does seem to have a very big correlation that a lot of the human diseases were caused by wild animals transmitting that disease through meat eating to humans and so it is with fish now maybe you guys should think twice about eating fish you may be uh, ingesting a pathogen that uh, well anyway it is up to you let's go up a little ways There may be a problem. Even, even with a bad back, I think this is negotiable. Let's see if we can figure it out here. You don't want to go under it. So I'm just going to go over it. Even with a bad back. But I acted as if it was out. I now have to reteach myself how to do everything with the back okay. All right, as you know, I try to always get a little bit of, it, of good news in because there is some environmental good news, even though it's so tiny, you'd have to need a, you'd need a microscope to see it. But let me tell it to you anyway. This is a pretty good win, really. A federal appeals court upheld the Endangered Species Protection for Yellowstone Grizzly Bears. Now remember in our past videos, we, we talked about how Trump wanted to make it possible to hunt grizzly bear and their cubs in their dens. Remember that and all that? And they could use traps on their feet and all? That's been upheld. Not going to happen. At least not now. Good news. Told you there's some good news now and then. The native tribes in the Yellowstone area said that the decision should be based on science and you should not be eating bear. That's according to them. Well, of course you shouldn't be eating wild bear. That's another transmission spot for disease into people. Eating meat has got to be one of the most horrendous things about spreading major diseases around our planet because we want to eat meat. Oh, eat a candy bar. It's a lot more flavorful. Let's talk about the extinction list, shall we? Around the world, one-third of all the lemurs are on the extinction list. Thirty-three are on the uh, critical endangered extinction list in Madagascar alone. And that's the, they've just upgraded that from extinction to critically extinct. That means that they're almost gone. What's causing this? Oh, deforestation and hunting. Deforestation, again, why are we so into deforestation around the world? It's because you use the land to raise cattle to, to, to uh, produce meat for fast food restaurants, pretty much is what that's happening now. The good restaurants use choice meat that's grown in stockyards and that kind of thing. The cheap meat comes from out, when you see the dairy, the cows out in the field, those are the cheap cows, those are the ones that that uh, they use for the cheaper meat. 
So, there are 30... Oh, and I'm out of battery. Okay, well, let's move on. And last but not least is the Atlantic right whale is now on the critical endangered list. Only 300 cross-river gorillas are left in the jungles. So not only are we losing our whales, but we're losing our primates. Let me show you, we're losing these guys because of hunting and for, uh, deforestation to raise meat. So it's obvious that the point of this video is that if you wanted to reduce your footprint the most, almost the most, I don't know, maybe driving would be better, but depending on how much you drive, but if you wanted to really help our fellow planet out, planet Earth, you'd stop eating meat and become a vegetarian at least. It's going to take a little while to learn it, but it's well worth it. Food tastes so much better without all that fat. You really notice that the, the flavors really start coming out because your taste buds are now nice and clean. And another thing is getting rid of table sugar or white sugar, refined sugar. That's another one. Get rid of that and you'll find that your flavors are just amazing. You just don't need all that artificial salt, fat, and sugar on your food. So, with the uh, battery light flashing again, I need to uh, head back and put up this video. But before we do that, yesterday's video was supposed to have a chat on the right side. It was a premiere. Uh, when I came back, uh, I didn't see that anything had happened with that or that it even worked. I'm not sure. So if anybody happened to notice, was there a chat over on the right side? If you could uh, give me an answer in the, in the uh, comment section below, I'd love it. And I appreciate all the ups and downs and new subscribers. And until next time.